Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. If you want to learn more about how to analyze mechanisms using analytical method, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. In this video, I am going to discuss inclined 4 bar linkage, position, displacement, velocity and acceleration analysis using analytical method. In this picture shown is a 4 bar linkage inclined and the link AD is a fixed link. Fixed link is uh, at an angle theta from the horizontal like shown here. And this link AB is a crank and length is L2 and it is at an angle theta 2 from horizontal. This link BC is coupler link and angle between horizontal and coupler link is theta 3 and length is L3. So this link is a follower link CD. Length is L4 and it is at an angle theta 4 from the horizontal. First, let us draw a line from B to D. Let us call that length is L. So the angle here is theta and angle from here to here is theta. Uh, this angle is theta 2. Let us call this angle is alpha and this angle is lambda and this angle is beta. To find length L, let us apply cosine rule for this triangle A, B, D. So angle from here to here is theta plus theta 2. So the cosine rule is uh, L equal to square root of L1 square plus L2 square minus 2 L1 L cos theta 2 plus theta. So from, with this uh, formula, we can find length L for any given angle theta 2. So now let us apply sine rule to find uh, this beta from the same triangle A, B, D. So sine rule is sine beta by L2 equal to sine theta 2 plus theta by L. So from this, we can write beta equal to sine inverse L2 by L sin theta 2 plus theta. So using this formula, we can find angle beta for any given uh, angle theta 2. Now from this triangle B, C, D, let us find alpha and lambda. To find alpha, let us apply cosine rule. So cosine rule is L4 square equal to L square plus L3 square minus 2 L, L3 into cos alpha. So from this we can write cos alpha equal to L square plus L3 square minus L4 square by 2 L, L3. So again further simplification we get alpha equal to cos inverse L square plus L3 square minus L4 square by 2 L, L3. Using this formula we can find angle alpha for any given angle theta 2. Similarly, uh, we can either use sine rule or cosine rule, cosine rule to find this angle lambda. So sine rule can be applied when this angle will be less than 90 degrees uh, in any position. If the angle here lambda exceeds 90 degrees for any given angle theta 2, then it is better to use uh, cosine rule. So from cosine rule, we can find lambda equal to cos inverse L square plus L4 square minus L3 square by 2 L L4. Or by using sine rule, we can find lambda equal to sine inverse L3 by L4 into sine alpha. Since angle from here to here that is theta plus beta, this angle from this blue line to this blue line will also be equal to beta plus theta. So angle from this red line to blue line is alpha, angle from this blue line to red line is theta 3. So from this we can find theta 3 equal to beta plus theta minus alpha. Since all other angles are taken in counterclockwise positive and this one if it is clockwise then we need to take it as a negative. So in front of this formula, we need to put negative sign in the Excel sheet that let us see in the coming slides. So from here we found theta 3 and similarly from this blue line to this blue line is 180 degrees and angle uh, this side is theta plus beta plus lambda. So theta 4 can be written as 180 minus theta plus beta plus lambda. Now let us write position equations uh, for B. Uh, position of B in X and Y directions can be written as along X BX equal to L2 cos theta 2 along Y BY equal to L2 sin theta 2. So X is horizontal and Y is vertical. Similarly, we can write uh, position equation for C uh, as CX equal to L2 cos theta 2 plus L3 cos theta 3 that is also equal to L1 cos theta plus L4 cos theta 4 and CY uh, position of C along Y direction can be written as L2 sin theta 2 plus L3 sin theta 3 considering A is origin. So that is equal to 
minus L1 sin theta plus L4 sin theta for using these equations we can find uh, position of B in X and Y directions as well as position of C uh, in X and Y directions for any given angle theta 2. This formula given here for omega 3 and omega 4, alpha 3 and alpha 4 are common for any configuration of 4 bar linkage of any orientation. So in order to derive these equations omega 3 and omega 4 angular velocity of uh, link 3 and link 4 we need to differentiate position equations uh, that we have discussed in the previous slide one time and solve for omega 3 and omega 4. Similarly to find uh, L3, uh, alpha 3 and alpha 4 we need to differentiate the position equations two times and uh, solve for alpha 3 and alpha 4. I have put the links below in the description box for these two videos on how to derive these equations for omega 3 and omega 4, alpha 3 and alpha 4. Please check them. After having derived all the necessary equations, now let us solve a problem using Microsoft Excel. So in this problem, we have taken L1 350 millimeter, L2 150, L3 360, L4 240 millimeter and omega 2 18 radians per second, inclination 30 degrees and alpha 2 is 0 radians per second square. So in this column, we have written theta 2 0 to 360 degrees at an interval of 15 degrees. In the subsequent columns, we have found alpha, beta, uh, L, beta, alpha, lambda, theta 3, theta 4, omega 3, omega 4, alpha 3, alpha 4, Cx, Cy, Bx and By using the equations we have previously derived. As we discussed previously, we need to put uh, negative sign in front of this theta 3 formula. So if the red line that is BC, link BC is below this blue line, then angle theta 3 will be negative. And if the line is above this blue line, then angle theta 3 will be positive. That values you can see in, the, uh, in this column. Now let us see the graphs in the coming slides. In this graph, we have plotted BX versus BY and CX versus CY. So this uh, blue color circle is BX versus BY and this yellow color arc is CX versus CY. So this shows that uh, this mechanism is uh, crank rocker mechanism. In this graph, we have plotted theta 2 versus theta 3 and theta 2 versus theta 4. So theta 2 along horizontal 0 to 360 degrees and theta 3 and theta 4 along vertical. So you can see the variation of theta 3 and theta 4 uh, uh, with respect to theta 2. In this graph, we have plotted theta 2 versus omega 3 and theta 2 versus omega 4. Theta 2 again along horizontal 3, 0 to 360 degrees and along vertical omega 3 and omega 4. So this blue curve is omega 3 and this yellow curve is omega 4. So you can see the variation of omega 3 and omega 4 with respect to theta 2. In this graph, we have plotted theta 2 versus alpha 3 and theta 2 versus alpha 4. Theta 2 again along horizontal 0 to 360 degrees and along vertical alpha 3 and alpha 4. So this blue curve is alpha 3 and this yellow curve is alpha 4. So you can see the variation of alpha 3 and alpha 4 with respect to theta 2. That's all for today's video. If you like this content, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.